Yo, welcome back everybody. Ding dong, land lovers are dead, so the new meta is emerging. Not shocking. A lot of the old tried and true strats, they are still really, really strong, but we have this void. This void created where there used to be these big stat boards, and now there's not that mid-game tempo. So if you don't have that mid-game tempo, what do you do? You level to the moon, you look for the key pieces quickly, and it becomes a high roll or die roll kind of game. Beasts, undead, dragons, elementals, they're all kind of capable of it. If you can get a lot of resources quickly, well, the game just kind of ends because people don't hit small anymore. We just hit each other for 15 plus, and as soon as damage cap is gone, everybody dies. All right, enjoy. Demon, dragon, elemental, and pirate. All right, beasts are in. Copy and paste Goldrin comp. I see Terran. I play Terran. Just go win off beasts. Uh, elementals are in, so that stops demons from being a runaway condition. Pirates are in. So demon, pirate, elemental, lubbers, OP, Keck W. We wouldn't be able to play this lobby before. This would have been a lubber lobby. Now it's just a beast lobby. Just get rid of one problem and expose the next problem. All right, dragon's beast. Very, very doable. I don't think there's anything here that makes me want to just not play Terran. Terran with beasts in is fine. Back in my day, this was a lubber lobby. Back in my day an hour ago, this was a lubber lobby too. How high is the, the value of of front drake here by comparison to just taking surf and surf on a Terran. What happened to Lubber? I don't know. I think with Terran we go the go the surf and surf line. I love front drake though. I'm not staying down. Even though this is okay kind of for Jeef Curve. Oh, for do you remember Lubber meta? I blacked out during that meta. I can't remember it anymore. Lub is still in Europe battleground. It takes a minute for the patch to deploy everywhere. Could be that you were in a game before the the uh, patch released, and now we're past that point. And no one should should uh, reappear. But it appeared it wasn't in the last game I just played, so I think it's pretty much deployed. I didn't love that meta. I thought it was fine. I, I mean, it was obviously going to be a problem. And it needed to be changed eventually, but it wasn't like it was unfun to do for a little bit. It's not something that needs to be in the game for a long time. Lubber really dead. Bottom left corner. There's a tweet. Lubber gone till next patch. Any cool board guy has such a short career. Yeah, it was removed from the game literally week one when it did the same thing and people just kind of forgot about it. Week one was the same problem, right? Fucking paint smudger was in the game when... Uh, whatever the spell dude that they redesigned the one that used to make every third spell free literally did it week one we have very short memories <laughs> okay Mr. Sewer Rat I see you Lubber is dead long live Lubber Ben Broad's father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate's dog walker just tweeted it. <laughs> and you guys said it wasn't accessible. And you're telling me you haven't followed the cousin of the nephew of the dog walker of a developer that used to be on this project. <laughs> Decent? Yeah, it's probably like the third best beast. It's not bad. It's like a right on the right in the middle. Rather have bird buddy. Bird buddy. Sag, old bird buddy's gone. Rather have uh, Turtle. That's probably the third best. Maybe even Pair, but you can't get Pair. So were there four eligible minions? Five? Well, at least it wasn't Panther. Three out of four. All right. Peace. Just level again next turn. Sell Busker, take Surf and Surf. Double death rattles, go for. Also could go... Hmm. Just get Lubber with Soul Rewinder? Dope. We'll hard force it. 
Can you link the Lubber Death? Nah, but somebody else can if they want to. It is directly on the screen. I feel like I've done enough. Patch notes. It's not patch notes. I don't want to go track it down again. <laughs> it's Mitchell Lowen on Twitter. You can just search his profile and it's there. It's like the most recent tweet he's done. This guy down here. Oh, who needs a board when you can just have Terran with beast things? You can already see the new lubber. Every third roll now has an extra tavern sh spell in the shop. Hmm. Maybe better than what others have proposed. I don't think moving it up tavern tier really fixes the problem. I don't think moving its stats or whatever. Making it once per turn would just gut it and make it useless. Yeah, I don't mind that one that much. I think we could do better. You can do better, chat. But, I've seen worse. You. That minion is quite large. Mama Bear. Didn't really help me to level. Was Lubber the problem or the spells? Both. It's one minion on two boards. I don't think Ferrix is better than the best minion on the next board. I may have lied. This is so impossible to get, to get value. We're so low chance of getting value. Open up the board. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. Okay. Not our combats. <clears throat> These patch notes up don't apply to battlegrounds. I mean, that was like a patch from earlier in the week. Is what you're looking at. And it still does apply to battlegrounds, just the bug fixes and stuff. But like, I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> We're expecting something different to be there? Hmm. Ofer, I want you to make a completely different patch appear. Now. Fair enough. Can't really level yet. That's a good hit. Make sure we buff the Naga in the shop. As a top five NA player, you must prove your worth and apply the patch right now, Bofer. Right now. I have no, absolutely no ability to affect the patch, chat. It's just a tweet? Yeah, it's just a tweet. That's all it is. I can't magic it into more than that. I wish I could. Gross. He sniped my mama bear. Mm-hmm. Poor guy who never does an under has no clue what lubber is. Land lubber, the card? Do you start that put extra spells in the shop? That's the one that's gone. He gone. He dead. I see monkey. I play monkey. 
Could play Jug too. We could play Monkey and Strike Oil. Hope he didn't find Lubber. He's got Azurites. Oh shit. Man, it feels so hard to level in these scenarios. Like, you either get the direction immediately, or you're playing for tempo, it feels like. I'm just going to live with this. It's Leapers? <laughs> Leapers isn't in the game anymore. But yes. Leapers now. Frog Baron Strat was 2 OP. Leapers, yeah. It was strong. Once they put the Stealth Naga in the game, it had to be removed. But before that point, it was pretty balanced. We just removed Tavern 3 through 6. Everyone will... Then everyone will lubber and lubber won't be OP. <clears throat> Remove two-thirds of the game. The entire late game. Force everyone to lub. Or we could do nothing at all with balance and people will love anyway because it's the right way to play. Crazy. Quick cough. All right, minions. Gig them. What is this bullshit? What, what were those hits? Why you gotta be this way? It was rude as fuck. Very rude. Nothing wrong with leapers. How dare you say bad things about my leapfroggers. This is where we should level. Does that not feel like suicide? Just lose round, lose next round, dead? Sounds like fun! There's gonna add the Leaper ability to the Land Lubber. Oh, so it has two effects. Adds an extra spell to the tavern. When it dies, it gives a 1-1 one, one buff to a friendly beast. And adds Leapfrogger to it. That, that would actually be pretty good. Leap Lubbers. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. Yeah, let's do that one. Leap lovers. See, Eddie's number one in NA right now, guys, and he agrees. We should put Leap Lubber Strat in the game. Oh, I can't believe we have a chance to win this. What you got? What's up there? In that hand. All right, just a five, five. It's not that bad. I've seen worse. Oh. This is amazing. Being on six and not not being below damage cap. I hate this lobby so much, man. These like beast or fucking die lobbies. Every time you buy the spell, it just plays the leaper sound. Okay. That's that's pretty good. That's a good compromise. That's a lot of stats. Thanks. You can tell when it shifts around on the screen that it's consume. Just doubled the baseline stat of our board. Raptor. Meh. Buddy? I don't think we freeze for it. Dragons. Trash. I will just spread the love. This banana slam is still OP. I don't think it ever was, to be completely honest, but F5, it feels much more balanced for the state of like, do you play into it all the time? I think it was one of the, the biggest culprits of this card is incredibly strong at like 
6k MMR. And then as you went up, people learned to counterplay it much better and made better boards and it wasn't as competitive. But since it was such a simple strategy, it was really dominant for most of the latter. And now it's not. Now it's the Goldrin comp is obviously nuts and it, it uses a banana slammer, but a banana slammer by itself doesn't just roll over lobbies like it used to. Banana slammers and raptors and shit, you know, the mid game. 6K is good. 6K is good. I mean, 6K MMR is okay. Okay. You're supposed to die. 6K MMR is in the range of like average, above average, slightly above average range. Somewhere like that. That ballpark. I, I got excited. I got a Goldrin. And you just like, you're teasing me here. You're putting the Goldrin on the board and I can't play with the Goldrin. This is bullshit. Never mind. Everything's fucking fine. Just get a horse. It's all good. Just hit horse. Just get pony. There's our boy. Yeah, I don't think I'm changing this here, power. Believe it or not. Pony. All right, so what doesn't make the cut? I want Octasari. I want Goldrin. I want Pony. So that means Bird didn't make the cut, and arguably Mama Bear, or it could be the Surf and Surf. I don't think you ever make the cut. Macaw? Yeah, but one of the other ones gotta go. Surf's too big? Uh, maybe. I'd say that the stats on this with this is pretty similar. Does make it so we have to buff Goldrin when we play it, though. That's something. Rat? I don't think Rat ever goes. Not with this synergy. I don't want to delay this thing. I want it to die. If I can make it die. If I put an extra body on it, then when it comes back, it doesn't attack. God damn it, man. Just hit one of the two. Just hit over here. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Give me a break over here. Our gold trend just doesn't know how to die, man. There you go. That was certainly a hit, though. Bro's playing on three. Crazy. Hasn't hit a single land lubber. Crazy. I'm starting to see this stuff piece together. Meh. Not without taunt. Really need taunt. Really need one of our hits to actually go left so we can avoid this bullshit 50-50 shit. My health is, is suffering. Need chicken and pants. Always need chicken and pants, dude. That's kind of life. Number of days where I've woken up and been like, I need chicken and pants today. Or at least pants, you know? Like, it's hard to get through the day without pants. Chicken? Usually it's evening that I need the chicken. Tavish, watch out! Okay. Okay. What you want in the uh, last position? What would you rather play there? Octo? Why do you want to suicide something, guys? Why are you killing your minion? Pantsless board? Oh no! It doesn't kill Baron! 
It's the worst. Still gonna die the first thing that hits it, you know? Why are you killing off something on your board? Octopus. Let's go. Get him, Octopus. People's really over here trying to suicide their minions for no reason at all today. I see you. You guys are coaching the team and running them off a cliff. This isn't Lemmings. <laughs> it probably just thought it was enough damage, right? Obviously, just giving you guys shit for no reason at all, but it's only 16 damage at this turn. It's 32 on turn 12 plus. Or 13 plus. Taunt! I see Taunt! Oh, spell. Since we have to cycle the spot anyway. Remember playing Lemmings? What a fucking good game, man. We'll look next board first. Another Raptor. Seen worse. That. That one. Still no Hawkstrider. Though that's a pretty good hit. I don't think we make an argument for any of the other minions. We could just take the temporary 6-6 six, six to play around Zap, but it is a ghost. Taunt Griffin for hand. Uh, does it make us any stronger? You gotta sell a minion to do so. You get to summon a 60-60. It is taunted, which makes it a little bit easier to play. This is always going here. You don't have the gold for it is the problem. You just sell Raptor, but like Raptor's doing more to scale Octasari than this would be doing. After buying banana, I mean there's no way in hell you're not buying banana. Just seems too expensive to play. Um Any argument for not playing Banana Slam against this guy, because we should be able to win anyway, so that we have the open spot to cycle the blaster for gold for next turn. Yeah, sure, there's an argument there, but like, really? Really take that risk? I don't want to take that risk. Not for that little bit of value. Yeah, we could have done it. There's nothing here. It's hard to tell when we didn't see their last board. Oh, good. Another horsey. Not that it's really relevant at this point, but. Beast, dude. Fucking beasts. Kept talking about what, like, what a good patch would have. And number one was always gut lubber. Lubber strat, not fun. But number two was, was this composition, and number three was this card. Getting rid of one of them just leaves these guys even more oppressive. Not a huge fan. On the other hand, I like the game more right now than I did five minutes ago or an hour ago. So I'll reserve I'll wait on, on judgment there. I hate beasts. I hate beasts. Kinda do too, to be honest. What's your freezing for? I was thinking maybe we'd be able to take the Reflect Damage, but maybe I won't want to freeze it. If we can't win off of stats, it's got to be something scammy. Because if we do win off of stats, well, we're not we're not beating him and, and he's not dying, right? He's going to die from 9. And if it isn't, then it has to be pretty much like 500-500 stats somehow that he ended up with with Azerite, and then we need this card. Pretty sure we just win. In the case that we lose, it has to be a critical mass of stats. Feel shitty to lose a game because your opponent has tribute? Yeah, at the same time, it adds complexity to the game when you should play toward tribute. But yes, 
I agree. The card is too swingy. The slammers. What the fuck? What the fuck, Bob? This is bullshit. All right, well. Said we wouldn't win without killing him, but like, if there's ever a way that it's possible, it would be with just the tentacles being the only things alive on the board. Woo! We barely got there. What the fuck? Dope. Good lobby. 60 for a first is nasty. These whole, like, 49 firsts are... They're taxing on the soul, I'll tell you what. 